Welcome to Antonio's Pizzeria, serving the best pizza in town since 1976. I'm Antonio, head pizza chef and mathematician. Today, I will divide using base 10 models. Let's look first at the models. This pink guy is called a unit. Its value is 1. The yellow fellow is a rod. It contains 10 units, so its value is 10. Finally, the green one is a flat. It has 100 units, so its value is 100. Enough small talk. I need my four chefs to make 484 slices of pizza today. I can divide 484 slices by four chefs to determine how many slices they will each be responsible for making. I can use base 10 blocks to help me divide. I'll start by dividing my store window into four sections, one for each chef. There are four hundreds in the number 484. So I have four hundreds to divide into the four sections. One, two, three, four. There are eight tenths in the number 484. I see I have eight tenths to divide between the four sections. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And finally, there are four ones in the number 484. So I will divide those into the four groups. One, two, three, four. The quotient can be found by determining the amount in each group. There is 100, 2 tens, and 1 unit in each group. The quotient is 121. Each of my 4 chefs will need to make 121 slices of pizza in order to get the 484 slices made. One more to figure out before we get to cook in. I need 673 pieces of cheesy bread. Warm gooey delicious. Oh, sorry, I got distracted. I have three chefs that make cheesy bread. I will divide 673 by 3 to determine how many pieces each chef needs to make. I divided my window into three sections. In the number 673, there are six hundreds to divide into three groups. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now for the tens. There are seven tens. Let's divide them out. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, wait. I have one more ten but it can't be divided into the three sections. I can break apart the 110 into 10 ones. Then I can combine those 10 ones with the three ones I already have and divide those. That makes 13 ones. Let's divide them out. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I have one unit left. There is nothing left to divide, so it will be my remainder. I can find the quotient by determining the amount in each group. There are two hundreds, two tens, and four ones in each group. That is 224. The remainder is represented as the fraction one-third. One piece is left to be made by the three chefs. Thanks for dividing with me today. Time to get cooking. 